Hi everyone. Today on Market Makers, we have Siddharth Srivastava from uh, Mira Asset. He's a fund manager. He's an and also an expert in you know passive products like uh, ETFs, that is exchange traded funds. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, what are multi cap funds and also Mira Asset's upcoming uh, new fund offer or the NFO. So welcome, Siddharth. Thank you again for having me here. Thank you. Thank you for taking our time. And uh, Siddharth, let's start with some basic questions. So what are, uh, you know, multi-cap funds and what makes them unique? Yes, yeah, so Milan, uh, SEBI has given several categorization within equity segment. Uh, and in these categories, mutual funds can launch schemes, one scheme per category. So there's a large cap category, there's a mid cap category, there is a small cap category. And then as a combination, there's a large and mid cap category where the fund will take exposure in both large and mid cap segment. There's a flexi cap category where it is up to the fund manager to take his view in large, mid and small cap segment and does allocation accordingly. And then there's multi cap category where the fund manager has to invest minimum 25% in large caps in mid caps and in small caps and remaining 25% to balance 25% he can invest anywhere based on his his view across the uh, equity segments so multi cap just sorts of uh, gives a range that you have to invest at least 25% in large cap, at least 25% in mid cap, at least 25% in small cap uh, segments so that you get a proper diversification. In flexi cap categories, a fund manager can go let's say up to a very significant amount in a large cap allocation itself, right? Or a large plus mid cap allocation itself. But in multi cap, he has to invest in all the categories. Uh, minimum 25%. So, it, so diversification is, is in a way sorts of forcefully implemented by the SEBI rule, uh, which which calls for minimum investments across categories. Okay. And from Mirai Assets perspective, what is the you know vision and inspiration behind launching this fund? So first of all, we like multi-cap category a lot. Uh, we feel that if you want to create wealth over a long-term point of view, you should have uh, investments in a category or a portfolio which takes position in a large cap, takes position in a mid cap and a small cap segment. And uh, typically if you will see that around around 50% or so is towards large cap and 25, 25 towards mid and small cap. And we feel that that blend is very good. So, uh, from a combination category point of view, we particularly like multi cap and we already have a multi cap active fund, which, which takes uh, that call. And now we are launching a passive fund in the multi cap category itself. Okay. Got it. And, uh, you know, what kind of criteria are used to select companies in this particular index and, uh, you know, typically what are the sectors involved? It's a pretty straightforward and simple index. Uh, basically, everyone knows about Nifty 500, right? And NSC has simply created a multi-cap version of it by capping top 100 large cap stocks within Nifty 500 at 50% on an aggregate. Next, 50 mid-cap stocks at 25%. And next 250 small cap stocks at again 25%. So they have created this index called Nifty 500 multi cap 50, 25, 25 index by simply capping at a group level, large cap, mid cap, and small cap at 50%, 25%, and 25% respectively. So stocks, whichever are there in Nifty 500, will be there in this index. The only difference is that at a segment level, there's a capping done uh, on the index. So what will happen if, if I just simply compare it in Nifty 100, there's 72% of large cap representation. Whereas in, in multi cap, it will be only 50% because of the capping. 
in uh, in uh, mid cap uh, the nifty 500 has roughly 18% representation uh, whereas in again multi cap it will be 25% and small cap is only uh, around 10% in nifty 500 and in case of multi cap it will be uh, 25% so you are basically compressing large cap a bit and increasing the allocation to mid caps and uh, small cap so you have I think a bit more diversification because your larger companies will have smaller weights and smaller companies will have larger weights just to illustrate one by it by number that top 10 stocks in nifty 500 has around 32.3% uh, weight whereas in nifty 500 multi cap version it is only 22.3% weight so the constituent remains same the number of stocks remain same which is 500 just that the capping is done at large cap mid cap and small cap uh, level to ensure that you are getting a proper representation of each segment 50% towards large cap 25% towards mid cap and 25% towards small cap got it and um, you know this uh, index nifty 500 multi cap 50 25 25 uh, you know has shown outperformance over nifty 500 over uh, you know several periods so uh, you know what do you attribute this outperformance to uh, if you look at pure numbers uh, in last almost 20 years, including 2024, uh, year till date, you will see multi cap outperforming the Nifty 500 in 12 out of 20 years, right? Uh, even if you look at five year data, five year historical returns, July ending, uh, so you'll see uh, multi cap giving almost 25.9% return versus 22.3 by nifty 500 the plain vanilla version so you are seeing an outperformance of over 3.6 percent or so over a five-year period on a CAGR basis so and also importantly i think that is more important that from a return to risk point of view also nifty 500 multi-cap has given better numbers compared to the plain vanilla nifty 500 uh, but this all is also attributed to the fact that small cap and mid caps have done well in phases where large caps are doing well i think we'll see nifty 500 performing well but in phases where multi cap and small cap uh, sorry mid caps and small caps are doing well you will see nifty 500 multi cap uh, doing doing better I think uh, we believe that from a long term point of view right from a five year seven year etc point of view typically we see mid caps and small caps doing better than a large cap yes there's volatility yes there's increased risk but returns uh, over a longer period you get more in mid caps and small caps uh, so from a longish allocation uh, I feel that Nifty 500 multi cap version is better than Nifty 500 and that is what is also illustrated in the data which I just talked about but yes investors should uh, sort of consider and think that if large caps are only doing well let's say in those periods you will see Nifty 500 doing relatively better than the multi cap version of 500. Okay, so you know to put it in a layman's word, uh, Nifty 500 multi cap is like a Kasata ice cream where you get a lot of flavors in one ice cream. Plus, on top of it, there are uh, you know delicious toppings. And that's, <laughs> good. that's perfectly good. <laughs> okay, so typically, you know, who would be the ideal investor for this fund? I think this is this can be a core allocation for any investor whose risk profile allows him to take exposure in equity markets uh, this is a bit more uh, risky than uh, nifty 500 yes because uh, i said that it allocates 50 percent towards large cap 25 25 percent towards mid and small cap so any person whose risk profile is okay towards taking exposure some bit of exposure towards mid cap and small cap can invest in multi-cap funds uh, as his or her core allocation. It's a diversified portfolio of 500 stocks 
uh, you have good representation towards stable large cap segment and then you have reasonable representation towards growth oriented mid and small cap segment so it's a well-rounded portfolio uh, and i think investors who are okay with equity market volatility who are okay with some bit of mid cap and small cap exposure uh, i think this is a perfect product to invest uh, from a core allocation point of view excellent thank you siddharth uh, and all the best for the nfo thank you so much milan investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing